Hello, everyone. Hope that you are enjoying the last bits of regular Friday and uh, looking forward to heading into uh, our Erev Shabbat and beginning Shabbat officially and letting go of last week, moving into what we hope will be uh, hours of relaxation and study as we enter the Torah portion of Kitetze. Kitetze continues in the book of Devarim, in the book of Deuteronomy, the 37-day-long speech from Moses to the Israelites. And Kitetze is really about um, rules of engagement when you leave the house. Kitetze means when you go out. And it sort of means when you go and operate in the world, this is what you should be doing. It's almost like, uh, to simplify it, it's the Torah portion kind of is when you go out in the world, because we're a Jewish community, you uh, do things mensch, in a menschy way. Essentially, that's what Torah portion is saying. Be a mensch. When you go out into the world, be a mensch. And it's there's a whole list of them. It talks about... Um, taking care of a certain nest and birds it it, it it it's it's it speaks about um uh a whole variety of other engagements that that we're supposed to deal with and and follow through uh the one i want to mention uh to for us this evening is sort of behind me this image of you can see a bit of an exchange of money and that is in this week's torah portion talks about paying uh the wages to your employees. Actually, it is a huge component within Judaism that if you have employees, they must be paid and they must be paid in a timely fashion according to whatever agreement was made, no matter what. And there are so many details that go into it because it's about being a mensch. It's about also understanding that if you're the employer, your employees might need every penny of that money to get through the day or the week or the month and so it becomes the responsibility of the employer to pay the employees and i think it's beautiful by the way that the torah which talks about a myriad of other things takes the time to talk about these specific moments because i think there's holiness in these moments as well here and there are some exemptions and some and some interesting variants. For instance, if the employer runs out of money before they can pay the employee legitimately, meaning they don't have the money to pay their their employees, there are some thoughts about whatever even slight amount of money the employer has left. They have to choose among the employees, meaning. We think that that employee needs more more or less than the other employee. It's kind of a complicated view. Um, but also, if really the employer has no money, zero, uh, then they are obviously exempt from the mitzvah, from, from the commandment. But it goes on to say that some commentary says it becomes the job of the employer then to go into debt, meaning to go and take a loan uh, so that they can pay their employees and then they have a debt, but that's their 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 problem uh, because then they can slowly, hopefully, when they recoup the money for themselves, uh, pay back the loan, but their employees uh, are are paid. Um, so uh, it also depends on certain supplies and, cer and certain and certain managers. Uh, and so it's it's really it's very important. It's a very interesting uh, concept. By the way, this is not the first time we're hearing it. We're hearing something similar in the book of Leviticus. It's the second time that we're hearing it. Um, and but the the Torah itself. So the comment the well, the commentary I gave you is a commentary. The, the Torah really says that you really have to pay the wages, and you really can't postpone th those wages. It gives you a time limit too. That when, whenever the employee started, the money has to be returned. So not only I think this is really interesting, but I think it's kind of I think it's kind of nice as we enter Shabbat to be thinking about this. 
that the Torah guides us on so many different aspects, things like the Ten Commandments and the and the Shema and uh, stories of creation and what Moses talks to us about. All of these are big, beautiful moments. But I think that on this Shabbat, I'd love for us to to think about all of the beautiful details that the Torah shares with us uh, as well, even in these in in these moments that seemingly look like they're not holy, that they're actually very holy moments. And so uh, I invite us all on the Shabbat to uh, examine those moments in our in our lives that we should just be really thankful for and appreciate the holiness of the little intricacies that we uh, have throughout our throughout our lives. More to come, of course, on this Torah portion. Not that far from now, at 6.30 will be our Arab Shabbat service. And then, of course, tomorrow morning will be at 8.30 a.m. will be our service and Torah discussion. Hope that you uh, have a wonderful beginning to your Shabbat. And uh, as always, for all of these many, many, many months, uh, sadly, almost, uh, almost one year we uh, try to put as much shalom as we can into our Shabbat. We look forward to seeing you soon.